Where the horizon meets the sky, that's where many search for their dreams. For the closer they get, the further away it seems. Look for those opportunities that are near. There are many that surround us. Fight against the discouragement that so often will confound us. Put God in your dreams and take away your doubt. Believe that it will happen and things just seem to work their way out. We do dream of a place to live. It's beyond where the horizon meets the sky. It's that home up in glory, which one day we hope to fly. I'm Steve Melton. I collect antique machinery and I write cowboy poetry. I've been on this ranch since the middle 50s. I've been raised on this ranch and I've worked together with my dad and mom and have three brothers and a sister that's all have worked this ranch throughout the years and then still on the ranch, which is very unique for this day and age. coming up to the antique museum. I've collected these, uh, started collecting these antiques about 15 years ago and have developed a passion for collecting the, our heritage. Things that my relatives might have worked in years past, maybe even up to 100 years ago, and other friends and their families might have used. I have developed in the Melton's Machinery Museum, so I'm trying to restore old bulldozers, and old tractors, and just to bring them back to life. Understand how important it is to keep this machinery and keep this heritage to the next generation. And I have a, I have a motto. If you understand the past, it gives you confidence to proceed to the future. I love to blacksmith and I've made knives and, and ornamental things, but also some tools and things you can actually use. Made this knife out of square stock, just hammered it out. And that just means a lot to me to be able to get connected with, with the past. Old things that I found, old bones lying on the ground. Old bells that I hear ring, mm, love them old things. Old cars don't go too fast, no old dogs lying on the grass, old homes full of ghosts, who love old things most. Them old things they amaze me. You ought to see my old lady, she wears a big old hat, no blue jeans. And here is a collection of antique tractors. And I like to keep them what we call in their working clothes. I don't restore tractors very much because I like to see their original working paint and, and what they look like through their life. Having that opportunity to sit in that seat just as my dad would have done. It just brings back a lot of memories. Florida Cracker lifestyle is something that myself and many of my friends want to keep. It's a mindset of maintaining your heritage, maintaining our history of how things were when the state of Florida first started. It's those values that we had then that we want to continue forward. It's working hard and it's keeping your family together. This is the this is the principles that I think being a Florida cracker involves and that's why I want to save it.